1926, the government of the newly founded Irish Free State formed a coinage committee to plan a new Irish coinage. A competition was organised and a number of well-known sculptors and coin designers were invited to submit their patterns. Percy Metcalfe, an English artist, sculptor and designer, was chosen out of six designers as the winner and had to design the reverse side of eight coins. It was recommended that the coins feature a series of native animals because of their importance to the agricultural economy of Ireland. And so, a woodcock featured on a farthing, a pig with piglets on the halfpenny, a hen with chicks on the penny coin, a hare on the threepence, which is my personal favourite, a wolfhound on the sixpence, a bull on the shilling, a salmon on the florin, and finally a horse on the half crown. These series of coins became known as the Barnyard Collection and were first issued on the 12th of December 1928. The harp was chosen for the obverse on all the coins as it had been the heraldic emblem of Ireland for centuries. The words Seostat, Irian, appeared on the obverse of the coin from 1928 to 1939, and in 1939 the word Air replaced the words Seostat, Irian. Of those earlier Irish coins, I've only got these four here, from different years, the earliest being this one penny with hen and chicks from 1928, the halfpenny with the pig and piglets from 1942. The sixpence with the wolfhound from 1962. And finally the one shilling with the bull from 1968. I'll flip them all over so you can see the harp design on the obverse. There you go. We'll also take a look at this particular coin, the one penny, in a future video as it's got a few interesting features that I'd like to discuss. Anyway, let's fast forward in time to 1971 now, when decimalization was introduced. The Metcalfe designs were retained, however, the penny, three pence, six pence and half crown were withdrawn from circulation, and the farthing and half penny had been demonetized in 1969. New designs were introduced for the three new decimal coins. Irish sculptor Gabriel Haynes based his designs on old Irish art illuminations. And these were three ornamental bird details. For the half pence, one pence, and two pence coins. The new five pence coins featured the bull design, the new 10 pence featured the salmon, and finally the new 50 pence coin featured the woodcock design, originally on the old farthing. In 1986, a 20 pence coin was introduced and featured the horse from the pre-decimal designs. And in June 1990, the first Irish pound coin was introduced, which replaced the one pound note. It featured a red deer design, in keeping with the original Metcalf animal motifs. I've got seven of the decimal design coins here. Two of the ornamental birds at the top, the one pence and two pence. The bull on the five pence coin. Two ten pence coins here, with the salmon design. One from 1980, and then a late version from about 1996, I think it is. I've got the 20 pence coin with the horse. Incidentally, I've done a video about this coin and how it's worth a small fortune now, so do watch that if you're interested. And finally, the 50 pence coin featuring the woodcock. Ireland officially adopted the euro as its currency on the 1st of January 1999, so these original coins are no longer legal tender. So there we have it, the Barnyard Collection in a nutshell. 
I'll bet loads of you have these old Irish coins in your collection. I'm just really annoyed that I don't have my personal favourite, the hair on the three pence. So I'm going to keep them peeled and try and add that to my collection. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on these coins down in the comments section below. Thanks for watching if you have. Remember to hit that like button, share, comment and please do subscribe to the channel. And until the next video, bye for now.